Simotion is a high-end motion control system found today in all business segments offering finished solutions for the complete drivetrain. Siemens is now integrating this successful system into the engineering framework TIA Portal. It makes the planning, commissioning and operations of even the most complex facilities even easier, faster and simpler. Let me show you how easy it is to set up a Simotion project in the TIA portal. First, I'll add a Simotion motion controller to the already prepared TIA portal project. Then, I'll make a selection from the hardware catalog. Here, under Simotion, I select a Simotion D55-2, seen here in an illustration, and add it with a click on OK. The device view appears automatically. In the device view, you see the full graphic presentation of Simotion as it exists in reality with the individual components, also selectable with an additional slot, which I will now fill. There's a hardware catalog on the right side. Here, I'd like to select a communications board for Simotion. I simply drag and drop it and it's already integrated into the unit and can also be selected for an additional use. Next to it, I'd like to take a look at the network view. I switch to the network view up here. One is a Simotion controller extension, or a drive extension, to be found in the Simotion family, controller extensions. Again, simply add by dragging and dropping, and the connection is established with a click. The system automatically recognizes that it should be connected with Simotion. All I do is confirm. You don't need to worry about how it's connected internally. The system does it automatically. Just confirm with OK. Furthermore, I'd like to add an additional drive unit from the Simotion family, Simotion Drives. Add a Synamix S120 by once again using drag and drop. The allocation now occurs differently, this time graphically in the form of a line. I simply draw a line from Simotion to the drive unit and the connection is established. I'd like to add an HMI connection so I can also control the machine afterwards. Then I go to the hardware catalog, HMI, select a Simatic Comfort Panel 12 inch and again simply pull it in using drag and drop. On the left side of the project navigation tree, you see all the arrayed elements that I've just arranged showing up in the appropriate places again. That completes the hardware aspect of the project, motion control project management in the well-known Simotion Scout. For this, I simply open Simotion Scout by clicking on Simotion Configuration. Simotion Scout opens automatically in the background. As you can see, all the elements have been automatically carried over. The drive unit is here, the Synamics is here, and now I'll conduct motion control project management. First, I'll create an axis by selecting Axis Assistant, Axis 1, Path Interpolation Axis as a rotational axis. Now I'll just click my way through the Assistant. The Drive Assistant is integrated into the Axis Assistant for automatic drive dimensioning. Here too, just follow the Assistant. I select the motor with Drive Click Interface because that is precisely the integrated drive system from the controller through to the motor without input of motor or encoder data by the customer. The system takes care of it all automatically in the background. Communication between the axis and the drive object is also carried out automatically in the background. As the customer, you don't have to worry about a thing. Once again, here's a summary of the parameters. I confirm by clicking Finished, and the drive is assigned to Axis 1. As usual, you see that Axis 1 is arrayed in all elements. There's also a graphic view for setting further access parameters. Now, as usual, I want to set variables for device global variables. This is also done using Scout. I call these double integer pieces. And I'm done.
By saving and translating the changes in Scout, an automatic synchronization is carried out with the TIA portal, and all data from the Scout are automatically accepted and stored in the TIA portal. We can see this here under the PLC tags. Axis 1 appears with the configuration data, the system variables, and naturally, also the variables for device global variables. Down here, pieces 1 picker. This is the variable I've just set. A quick look back at the network view shows that we've got our entire hardware projection, but I still don't have a connection between HMI and Simotion. I'll do that now quite easily by adding a project picture, a screen for the HMI. I've already prepared a screen with an image from the library. Just drag and drop it under Screens and the screen is finished. I want to assign the variables previously set in Scout to this element. I select Device Global Variables, drag and drop, and we're done. It shows up green on the display. The connection between HMI and PLC is automatically made in the background. Looking back at the network view also shows that the connection between HMI and Simotion has been established. You don't need to concern yourself with the type of connection created. It's automatically visible up here in the Connections button. It's an HMI connection. That's it. Quick and simple with Simotion in the TIA portal.